Welcome to a new episode of Why Is Harry a beginning that's oh (laughs) sorry. (laughs) No, that sums up um, that sums up every episode, and I think I think that's perfect because I think that's a really good introduction to you, Rose, because I think you're very good at taking charge. (laughs) I'm saying that. Oh no! Yeah, I I actually this lockdown really have thought like am I is it bad like is it bad because like I think I am so domineering like it it borders on (laughs) emotionally like manipulative I actually love it because I feel like you're someone um for anyone that's listening we're joined by Rose Johnson Um, I feel like you're somebody that I can relax about because I feel like you've got your shit together and you you just you know what's going on. Have you ever said that about me? Okay, yes. Okay. Well, you just said you just told us that you had a drink on a park bench earlier today. So <laughs> yeah, because I've got my life together, I can choose when I drink and not be affected by it. <laughs> yeah, keep 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 telling yourself that. <laughs> no, it's because I it's because I I'm drinking on I'm, I'm drinking on a park bench because I've actually got I've actually got my life together. Yeah, then so... I came home and boiled two um... eggs. What's the problem? <laughs> was Jack still dressed like them? a dog? Jack was not dressed like a dog at that point, no. But um, we were still in the frame. We were still in that sort of actor's frame, you know, where we were just sort of I don't know what that means. What he was acting like a dog. Yeah, he was still acting like a dog, <laughs> drinking okay. a can. Um, I've never seen the side of Rose where she's domineering. I never oh, said really? she was domineering. No, she did. I said that. Rose, you said it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean... See, there, I'm being domineering there. No, I said <laughs> no, that. No, it's just a normal conversation. It's all right. Hey, hey, everyone. <laughs> I... Yeah, I think I am really domineering. I think it's my way or the highway. <laughs> and... <Really>? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've realised it. My mum said yesterday, oh, oh, I'm locked down with my parents as well at the moment in Devon. Um, And my mum said yesterday that she feels, um, I can't remember her exact phrase, but it was something like, I'm being ordered around in my own house. What did you tell her to do? What was the... Right, okay, right. So this is basically... They're boomers, okay, it's my mum and dad. So sure. doing an online shop to them, problems, okay. Right. We're talking, my mum, you know how when you book the other slot for, and they're like, you've got two hours to check out, otherwise you lose the slot. For my yeah. mum, that's genuinely a problem. She's like, I can't, I haven't got enough time. Two hours on, is not enough time. How long does a normal shop take for her? Like going to a shop? And, uh, going to a shop, fine. Normal, right. normal amount of time navigating the website yeah bad <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yeah. but it's I good because you can have your favorites so you just get your favorites and then you just Harry, surely that's he quicker. Has a, no. that takes planning you've got to build your favorites over time and do yeah these you've really got to build have... it she, she i have yeah she you. has she's not done that it's not a parent thing so to do, i really. said i'll take charge of the online <laughs> shop and i tell you what it's an absolute burden because <laughs> I can obviously do it, but the, it's the it's it's the kickback that I'm getting. It's the pushback. Yeah. You know, that they, they, they say, Oh, I'm really pleased I don't have to think about it. You're just making all the decisions. And then I'm paying for it for the next week. <laughs> Wrong brand of this, not enough oranges. Yes. Why have you bought so yes. many pepperamis? But, that but kind of thing. How isn't many this... is too many? <laughs> but isn't this a nice Well, sort this of week like... I bought fifteen. 50, that's a lot of pepperamis, actually. Yeah, no, but they do last, though. Not between not between five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. only three days' worth if you have one a day. That's but, quick, man. Well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, isn't, but this isn't, isn't this how it's all supposed to go for everyone anyway? You eventually end up taking care of your parents, don't you? I know, a real too early. forward for me, actually. Yeah. It's not time yet. And and at least when you look after them when they're really old, there's less there's less chit chat. <laughs> less chit chat, less back chat. Take less... your pepper army, so deal with it. I was telling her to pipe down about the online shop, and then also I've been trying to teach her to run, uh, which mainly is like <laughs> Wait, she doesn't know how to run. How old? Is she? No, no. Like to jo- like to to run for. Like, I'm trying to tra- tra- I'm trying to train her up to do like five k. All right. 
where she got to so far. 5k, okay. She's she is at like 4.5k. She's getting there. Well, then but... just stops. She's <laughs> not so having any yeah. <laughs> She's pretty well. <laughs> But she, 50% of the run is me um, doubling back to reassure her that she's not going to have a heart attack. She asks a lot of the time if she's going to have a heart attack. Um, okay. And yeah, and then basically the, that comment about being, um, you know, told off in her own house was because after she's been for a run, the day's conversation will consist of nothing else just it's just her saying oh my gosh i'm absolutely exhausted brian i'm i've run 4.5k do you know what we've done today i ran past the, further than the tree you know last time i told you i ran to the tree <laughs> well this time i ran to the telegraph pole and i just said can i make requests that you're not allowed to talk about the run after the run yeah and that's when she said she was being ordered around in her own house. <laughs> what? what an absolute <laughs> roller coaster. this is yeah okay yeah. I'm sorry, I just realised your dad's name was Brian. What? What's it like having a dad called Brian? Uh, Brian Roger Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good name. It's such a <laughs> solid name. Yeah, yeah. His, initials, his initials is, is BJ as well. <laughs> Can you order him around? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> the opposite. The man will not be told. You can't tell a Brian what. Will to not do. be told. <laughs> you cannot. Do you it. can't. You honestly, you can't. <laughs> the other day, we needed the password for the Wi-Fi extender, and I was like, "Dad, what's the admin password?" And he went, "There is, there isn't, there is none. There isn't one." And I was uh -huh. like, "Well, it's, there, there is because it's asking me for one on my computer." And he went, "There, there is none. I've read the literature. There is none." <laughs> and I was going, "Okay, well, maybe I can click on the forgot password link and get it. Then, if you can't find it, he went, what password? Forgot what password? There is no password." <laughs> so then I was like, "Maybe it's the password for the normal router." Went to get that, and then my dad came in and went, "There is, there is one." Found this written on the router. <laughs> <laughs> But still somehow managed to make out that that was not an error. Just was like oh. the... Um, Great. He was King like, months, it's just not in the literature. Great. It's exactly what I would do. They didn't write I think, that. I think that's what I would do in, this, in, in, in the same situation. I would attempt... And then I'd yeah. attempt to blame you. Um, yeah, yeah. Happen. I think there was a bit of that going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What um what age did you start um running the household? <laughs> Please tell us. <laughs> what Teach is us household? everything. Teach My us how to run alone. a household. <laughs> yeah, when, when did you start? Because it seems like you're in charge. Yeah. I've never been in charge of anything, so yeah. I respect it and I want to learn how to have authority. I don't okay, I don't know. It's a natural thing. I'm a Leo. <laughs> I'm a leader, I'm a born leader. You can't teach I'm it. I'm healthy. Just born with it. I think you are born with it, but um, this household, I would say, probably not till I sort of came back, whenever I came back after university and I was like an, a grown adult, it'd be like, this is how the proper way of doing things. Now, I went to university, <laughs> got worldly wise. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, you don't yeah. put bean sprouts in a spag bowl, even if they are left over. Oh, that's Just an that interesting kind of combo, isn't it? Yeah. 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 My mum, whenever my dad would go lesson. away, would get stuff. She'd they, they don't they hate waste, any food waste. Everything gets frozen, even if it's like a tiny little egg cup of like stir fry goes in the freezer. <laughs> and then my dad, whenever he was away, my mum would make a meal combining all of those things. <laughs> oh, oh. That's, That's gone weird. Nightmare. But yeah, I think being in charge, I think it's born out of just generally, it's born out of quite unhealthy levels of anxiety, I would say. And and wanting to, like, I'm a catastrophizer, an intense forward planner. So I'm always like, I've always foreseen a disaster or an event before yeah. it's happened. So I'm planning. Nothing's taken me by surprise. <laughs> Are you like See, this? I, like, sorry, go on, Harriet. No, I was going to say, because I have the same thing, but I react to it the opposite way, which is to do very little and just yeah. panic. And so yeah. I think that is actually, that is, don't you don't need to agree, Snell. I think that's no, I a very... I agree with your own analysis <laughs> of your behaviour. I think that's, that. you're making the anxiety work for you, you know? If, if Harriet needs to get from A to B and there's various transport options, what she'll do is just step out the house and start 
and not worry about it at all and wait for other people to sort of tell her like which no, train to my get, nightmare what time yeah i, I need nightmare. to know i need I've, to know the night before yeah. when i need to go 10 minutes away from my house absolutely and, how long and i've yeah. normally got a backup plan oh, like you know yeah. when you get when i've got an when you've got like an important work meeting and you get to the train station and like the train that you're going to get is cancelled i am immediately in like yeah. zombie apocalypse mode i'm like mm. go where are we going yeah. what's the thing and i will get there, there you got I your backup mega there. bus ticket you'll get there <laughs> You'll get yeah. there. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I might, yeah. yeah, I'm going to North London. I'm going via Leeds, but I will get there. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you running into a meeting one minute late. <laughs> Just... Are you, cause, because I have, I think the only anxiety I really feel day to day is having to get on buses where there aren't many free seats. And I don't like that. So I always plan for bus routes. That's your only anxiety? O- only real day-to-day anxiety, which doesn't must be it. nice during so COVID, Neil, not having any is, anxiety yeah, at all. No one around now. That is yeah. a, that is a headspace that I genuinely I can't. I'm so envious. Uh, what do you do? You not when you're going to do you not when you're going to sleep? Do you not have anything that goes round in your head that you're like, oh, what? If, <laughs> nothing. No, no, I never, I never think about anything but myself. Uh, so I'm not worried. <laughs> yeah, I'm but not worried I'm thinking about... about myself. Oh, I'm, right, I'm just right. worrying for things that are going to happen to me. No, I think... But I... you're worried about other people. So if you're worried about being late, then you're worried about being late for other people. Whereas yeah, it's actually right. out of your control. So you should just be like, oh, there's nothing I can do right now. No, but there is everything you can do. Oh, there is. The yeah, that you can do. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I can get up and go and plan my route. And, and you think, found Harry, it. Yeah. I think you're like, I think your problem probably, <laughs> and why you're not go. domineering <laughs> enough, is that you think... You just think that you have less control than you do. Yeah. You go, there's nothing yes. I can do. I'm washing yeah. my hands yes. on it. Whereas it's like, there's Google Maps. Yeah. You can yes. plan your journey. <laughs> there's loads there's, you can do. Things and change. Use your eyes and look around you. <laughs> my, yes. problem is, I, I, uh, my problem is, I think I have too much control over things. Whereas that I can't accept that there are some things which I can't control. So I'm like, I can control everything. Right. I can do, I can control it all, but I can't. No, you but can't. I still try. <laughs> this is. We were talking about. Have you ever seen the Netflix series Call My Agent? No, I keep. Oh, but it's French though. Yeah, that is a shame. It but, is. It's. It is French, but it's. Yeah. Um, it's still fun. <clears throat> it's still no, fun. No, I want yeah. to watch it. I do want to watch it. It's just the subtitles that put me off. I know that's yeah. so. That I'm subject. the same. Cliche. I don't like subtitles or black and white, but I think this is actually. Is it black and white? No, no it's, it's not. It's Harriet God. Oh, it's like what kind of fucking pretentious sitcom is this? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to make a we're... like classic Frenchie. So we're like, yeah, we're just going to make a sitcom but pop it in black and white. Yeah, it's just a lot of young people smoking and lying down on sofas. But what it is is that there's the the cat, and it's not a spoiler but there's basically a few agents in it who are acting agents so they look after clients and the evil character or like the baddie is my favorite character i don't understand why nobody likes him because he's the only one in the whole series who takes action and does things whereas everyone else just have just has things happen to them we were talking about this yesterday with harriet and um yeah and people mm. don't seem to like people well, you actually, described him as evil, so I think that might be a clue. He's seen as evil. He's like seen as the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. But surely that's the best way to do things. Is he to does like bad things. Yeah, that's, that's what you the want reason. And then do the things rather <laughs> yeah. than like everyone then, else yeah, is like absolutely. flying around with papers and going, oh, what's around. happening? Yeah, well, it's about being <laughs> passive and reactive versus active. True, yeah, I've true, lost my track. I've lost the, it's gone, the words. But you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, yeah. The problem is, though, is I'm not very good at doing that in when it comes to my career yeah that's the one thing where I'm like I think I don't know I think maybe it's that thing of like not knowing knowing what you actually want is the hardest thing that's yeah really, you can yeah. order the like, pepperamis but um but you yeah you've got to know you want them first yeah otherwise exactly. you're flailing around going you know but, yeah do and I then want... you're eating pepperamis yeah. going do I like this I don't know yeah I don't know yeah it's really hard to know what you want 
I think. And like, <laughs> because, because, but I'm so confident in like doling out advice about like my opinion, yeah. all that kind of stuff. But then when it comes to, but also I suppose because you're, you're putting yourself out there creatively, aren't you? You're, you're, yeah. It, you're making yourself vulnerable, and you can't once you've once you've put yourself out there, then you can't control no, no, the reaction no. to it. So That's, it's almost yeah. like if you don't put yourself out there fully, you're controlling. You're being like, well, I'm not, uh, yeah. you know, I'm not taking a big risk. I yeah. Don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you know who I ask? Who I go to for like advice, day to day, general stuff? It's it's Harriet. Uh, me. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, and that is a re- that's the real shame I think of this podcast is that <laughs> I probably ask her more for advice than she does me. Yeah, but, I'm fine. But what? she's she's yeah, pretty good. That's at... quite good. Yeah, I th- I think that's good because I think that you're quite different and you need someone else's perspective because you you already know your own perspective how you think you would approach a situation or deal with a problem yeah but you need somebody with a completely opposite viewpoint to otherwise it's like somebody just giving you your own viewpoint again i like this rose this is like sort of friends therapy where you're our therapist. Yeah, a bit much, actually. She just wants to drink at six. No, it's great. I like <laughs> it. Uh. I, I, actually, like, I actually find it so fascinating that you feel anxious because I would look at somebody like you and think, you've got everything together, you feel like you're in charge, you're confident, you've got an aim. And so to me, I'd be like, uh, it's probably quite unfair because I'd be like, oh, you're someone that takes charge, you couldn't possibly be anxious. Like I've got this friend um, and she's brilliant. And whenever we go on holiday, she takes all of our passports because she just doesn't yeah, trust me. any of us. But and I can imagine anxiety. you doing that. That's her anxiety. Uh, but that, I would never think yeah. that. I'd just think, oh, she's got all this. Right. I'll just, she's the I better one to take on this. A, we went away for a friend's birthday when, when you were allowed to, um, you know, in the before times. Mm. And um, I just I don't know what it is about me just took it upon myself also because I love cooking but I just took it upon myself to organize the entire food for the weekend like did this huge I've done it online shopping I've left and left for it again how, do you, how can you do this, this huge... to yourself this is this seems terrible. I don't like know and, and, when I, and like as I was doing it as I was sitting there like planning all these meals and like oh, designating who was doing it and being like oh well I can bring the sesame oil from oh home God, so I don't need to buy a whole new I was thinking what are you doing are you mad like I've basically just got I've just basically provided free catering for the you, entire you weekend to work I'm supposed to yeah yeah Your I'm supposed to be going away having a lovely time everyone's like do you want to come outside and play rounders and I'm like I fucking can't I've done I'm doing do it do it yourself pizzas I'm not going to prove the dough and they're like, we like to go to a doing restaurant. Doing pizza party tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't I? It just goes to show that really uh, the least the least anxious person is the person just having a can on a bench at three pm. I stop making this yeah about you. well that's the thing <laughs> yeah. actually there was a bit i won't i won't say who it was it is people that you know but as we were leaving this is yeah. such a good example i'll tell you and you have to edit out the names i as i was leaving as we were leaving you know when you leave the airbnb in the morning and there's that horrible thing where you're like we've got to clear we've got to clean it up we've got to clear okay, it up we're leaving. We go. we've got to leave in like half an hour mm. and so there's like half an hour we've got to clear like all the food out because obviously i'd over ordered um got to clear out all the food <laughs> got to like um <laughs> you've got to like you know clean the whole kitchen sort everything out so it's yeah. nice so you get your good airbnb review and you're and in charge we everybody your review isn't it you're, yeah it's your i'm review. there like yeah. doing everything telling people <laughs> who wants to take home the six pack of kpp nuts who wants all the pepperamis <laughs> all that kind of thing <laughs> I, I know, look outside and two of the people who've come on the weekend are outside doing a spell. What? Like a, like a spell, like a, like a, like a, a spell, like a sort of spiritual, they're doing, right, they're right. outside. Oh, okay, yeah, it is that. Okay, I was wondering what. <laughs> it's a spell. Oh, like a wizard they're, they're or a They're doing like a do. kind okay. of, yeah, 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 like a, but it's like a kind of ritual. They're doing like a thing okay. where they're like, let's set our intentions and burn something. Right. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm f- I fucked myself over. 
yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I've done this. I've taken charge. I've put myself in this position so that those people know <laughs> we can just go out and do spells because someone knows we'll take charge of it. And I hate that. I hate that. What if but I you'll do, do it again? Spell? You'll do it again at the next trip. Well, yeah, I'll have to. But I'll have to schedule in spell time. So yeah. I, I've got time well, to do well, it. Well, will you, will you learn your lesson? Do you think if there's another weekend coming up, will you stand back? Can you do that? Can't do it. You just can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do. Can't do you know anyone no. who's as organised as you or more organised than you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you ever defer Not... to them and let them get on with it? No, I'd, it would be people, all right, people like us, people like us, people like me, we've got an understanding, okay? We, we so look you at each see each other, other and you're in, you're in it together. Yeah. Okay, okay. We see each other and we go, this is on us. Yeah. We're in charge here. Yeah. I know that. I know that look. Okay. I've you've never that had that. You've never had that look with you've anybody. Never had that more like. No, I, I haven't. never had that look. I'm in control, okay, but so of. Good of myself like i'll make sure i bring my own snacks i think mine is just very selfish that's because you'll die on other people's snacks that's true yeah yeah and i just so, yeah it's, but that's not that's just selfish yeah mine's just selfish i'm not die. thinking about um, if anything that's else. like the minimum thing <laughs> that's like the bare minimum that you're doing you're stopping yourself from dying <laughs> i'll do the absolute bare minimum and sometimes i won't do that and um it and really she wants ruins us to thank her for that as well a trip you know she yeah. wants credit for that yeah yeah, yeah. so you you will look at the other organized person. you have a look and you'll be like this is yeah we're gonna have to yeah, and you know, right, this is on us. We're sharing the burden here, but we are in control. And, you know, we understand that. Yeah. And, you know, yes, we will sneak off and bitch about everyone else at some point. <laughs> that's right an now. understanding. Right you know, now. that's your privilege, yeah. okay? Yeah. That is your privilege. <laughs> you know, 4am, yeah. two months later at a house party, you two will be shouting in each other's faces over a glass of red wine about the other people on that weekend. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is really nice to have someone on who's actually, you know, got their stuff together. It makes sense. Is there, Most comedians But, but I don't, usually... that's the point. No, but, you know, on the surface, and that's all that really counts. But mm, most comedians... Um, me and Rose have do have nice. something in common, um, and that is that we've both had um, uh, rat incidents. <laughs> yeah. Harriet um, messaged me or maybe left me a voice note. <laughs> I wonder if I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she, she she knew that I because I tweeted about the rat. Yeah, I tweeted you about my so rat. not my great. rat, but sorry, who got who got rats first, Harriet or you? Me. Okay. Rose was so great. She was like the calm in the rat storm. Like everything was chaos, and she was like, "You're gonna get through this. Yeah, there will be a day when you don't have rats." rats. Yeah, what happened? No, I've realised, I've remembered what happened now, Harriet. You, it you wasn't a voice note. You tweeted about having rats. Yeah. I think I replied to your tweet being like, I've just got rid of a rat. Ring me if you want. And, immediately, and I called you immediately. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> and just said, Rose, I don't know what to do. What do I do? And I said, get out. I oh, said, right. you've got to get out of yeah. there now. It was because the best I advice. tried to stay. I tried to stay, and my husband was like, "You're mad. We're living with a rat. You've got to, <laughs> got to get out of here. It's driving <laughs> you mad." And I was like, "I am not being driven from my house by a rat." Of all but things. you can't yeah. live with a rat. You can't. <laughs> 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 and you mustn't. You can't, and you mustn't. But you were like Bobby. It was like you versus the rat. Like you can't let the rat win. Bobby would be yeah. like, "You've won this round, rat, but you're not going to win the next <laughs> one." Like, like that's how I see you handling it. Yeah. Whereas yeah. me and Dan are like, I can't. Oh no! Is... I was like, I want. I didn't want to take it on personally. I was like, but also I've got, I've got like a weird. I've still got a weird like teenage aversion to spending loads of money not that I, I don't have an aversion to it it just panics me when something's really expensive so the idea of calling a pest controller I'm like 
that's going to be like 300 quid to get rid of a fucking rat. It's yeah, mad. Every, uh, yeah, I'd spend more. I mean, what, of course. I, yeah, I would yeah, say that's an that's absolute the point. bargain. They've, yeah. they've got you over a barrel. You could, They could charge any amount yeah. and you'd be like, take my life savings, take my pension. Uh, like, get I don't have a pension, rat. obviously. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what I'm talking about. But, um, <laughs> who do I think I am? Um, but yeah, so uh, so I tried to stay... But Dan was confident that he could catch it himself. What? He was confident. <laughs> at one point, he was confident. In, at one point, he was in our kitchen with a rake, but he was also scared of the rat, so he <laughs> wouldn't go close to where it was. So he was trying to like get it. He thought it was in a cupboard. He was trying to like spook it out with the rake, and then I was like then what are you going to do, Dan? And he was like, I'm going to chase it out of the back door. I was like, you can't chase a rat. You cannot direct a rat. And then he tried, not to, a make sheep like, dog. He tried to make like a, a barrier so that it would only be able to go to the back Sorry, door. How high, how high was the barrier? Like a DVD. <laughs> so not high. Rats can climb. Famously, rats, rats can, can climb. climb. A very minor step for the rat to step. The in rat, there. our rat, climbed on top of our bookcase, knocked <laughs> off a candle, and then ate the candle in front of you. They are that is demonic. such a power move. They are I, demonic. I'm going to come round to Harriet's house and do that. No. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I love the. Can you explain, because you you said you didn't know how many rats you had, and then it yeah. turned out that it was what, it, you were just being tortured by one rat? Tortured by one rat, <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, we were like, we didn't know how many rats we had, um, but this one rat caused so much chaos. It ate the candle, okay? <laughs> It knocked jars off, glass jars off shelves so that they smashed and then ate the stuff inside them. Like, you oh know, when you God. keep like, was it just one stuff in glass was it jars? Just, was it just one, one lad on his own? Rat. <laughs> no one family. Lad. It, no family. It ate Fair the play. skirting board. It ate a skirting board. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get out. It's going to eat its way out. Yeah, it was going mad. So basically, we were like, we don't know how many. In the end, we call a pest controller who Harriet has also met. I won't mention his name. One of the most insane people I've ever met in my life. Did he turn up a with a very hand? talented <laughs> man? He found his thing and he excels at it. He, yeah, and he, but he likes to talk about yes. rats and everything else. <laughs> he, told, he told us the stuff that he told us that he told, he, well, Harriet, how old would you say he is? Like early 40s, late 40s. Yes, but with a young spirit. <laughs> the amount of previous jobs he told us that he'd had, I was like, it's impossible. You can't have had all these jobs. He said he he told us he used to he had told us he used to drive a boat on the Thames, but he got fired because he drove it into Blackfriars Bridge. Okay, he told us <laughs> he told us, oh, he told us he used to be he told us he used to be a zookeeper. What? So he went from what? zookeeper to pest to exterminator. <laughs> I was like, what happened? How? <laughs> did, did something bad happen at the zoo? And he, he was he like... killed a tiger, yeah, got a yeah, taste yeah. for it. <laughs> with, like, with glue and a hammer. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, oh um, yeah, he was, he was mad, but he knew his job and he did it very well. But, yeah, basically he came round... And he looked at the number of droppings and said it was, yeah, just one rat because he said there's not many droppings. Oh, okay. And he looked for the way in. He was put tracker dust in the drains. He was looking for entry points. He was up on our roof. He was in the cupboards. He was everywhere. <laughs> okay. He, but he couldn't find anything. And he he kept on coming around and going, he's, he, he's, get, he's got me. He's getting me this way. <laughs> Tell you what, he's not going to get the better of me. I'm going to get him. Tell you what. He's tricky. No, and he'd he'd look down under the kickboards in the kitchen and go, no evidence. No, they, they will be evidence where he is. There will be evidence. Couldn't find. Took our kitchen to bits. Like couldn't find anything. Then for like the th after like the third time he came round, couldn't find any entry point. So then he just went. He's in the room with us. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and the whole Kikora. time he'd been there, I was like, the whole time he'd been there, I kept saying to him, are you sure it's not just living in, I think it's just in here. I don't think it's coming in and going out. I was like, yeah. we hear it all the time, like crashing around when we're trying to watch TV. It's like <laughs> careering around in the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> and and then yeah he he it basically this rat walked in the back door bold as you like what <laughs> and well, was while living he was there. Just... no oh right <laughs> that's, that's, how... right. that's how it got in that's how it got oh. in and then it was just living in the behind the fridge in the living room in the what kitchen I... sorry well, it entered did... through the front door and just lived in just moved in moved in basically yeah moved in and then went mad because we obviously like hid all of the sources of food because we were like, <laughs> yeah, to, like, I'd be furious if I moved into away. And it started eating the, the candles and stuff. <laughs> By the way, can you put a trigger warning? Like, can I? We need to put do a trigger warning because I talked about this on Jess Foster Q's podcast, and I got some an irate tweet from someone who keeps rats. Oh, and she calls okay. them fancy rats. And okay, yeah, I got but there's big trouble. There's fancy rats, and what, then there's... for what? You, that rat was trespassing on your property, yeah. damaging your property. Yeah. As I said, I s- apologise because I did. You know, I thought I'd this horrible. If if you know, if I've upset somebody, I don't want to do that. But they're vermin. <laughs> yeah. There she said it. You could. They can. She's finally said it. <laughs> you can't. It's they not, are I'm most sorry. dangerous. It's not... Yeah. They, you can they can make you go blind. And I thought that's mice. Scratch that's your ma- eyes out. That's mouse piss, isn't it? No, rat that's piss. Worse, and they'll bigger. scratch your eyes out while you sleep. And how do rats make you go blind? The piss, the piss Legionnaires. The poo or the poo. <laughs> the poo or the Sorry, piss. I had no idea we got There's a couple of scientists in it. on. No, for, for, Toxicology. <laughs> we are rat <laughs> experts, <laughs> Neil. Yeah, all right, I'll do Anything the research. you need to know about right? rats. You sound like Uber drivers. Do the research. <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> You do the research, mate. Okay, fine. All right. Well, I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, so I got in trouble. So basically, trigger warning: if you are if you are sensitive about rats and or you like rats, probably don't listen to the next bit. Skip forward. Um, well, it's a bit late now. It's a bit late now. But earlier. I think. Well, no, Elliot, but you can cut that no in earlier, this one, maybe. Please. No editing on this one. I think in the I'm description then because I don't want to get tweeted at again. No, oh if anyone God, wants to tweet, they can tweet me about this. No, because, <laughs> Rose, I think you can't apologise. Yeah. What? You've talked about rats in the podcast before, it's fine. I've talked about rats in the podcast, and you can't apologise. You have to... It, it was on your territory. She you had to get rid of it. it. Was because I, she said that it was because when I told the story of it being killed, my, I was, my voice was full of glee. And I'll be honest... I was full of glee when it was okay. killed. <laughs> I was Wait, full of glee. Not because the rat I was dead, know. but because I had my fucking house back. I could move back into my house. <laughs> I can hear the glee there, yeah. yeah. That was quite gleeful, actually. <laughs> but wait, I thought it just left back through the door again, but you actually, you killed it. It fell out through the back door in a way. Oh. <laughs> and you buried it in the garden? Um, the pest controller took it with him. Yeah, they do. I thought he was anti-killing them. No, he's pro. (laughs) Very much pro, I think, the pest controller. Oh, I thought he was trying to find them humanely. Are you serious? Well, because he's trying to find them, but he's... The guy... Oh, no, he's trying to, like... what He's trying to not poison them in the house because then they crawl away somewhere and die in the house and and they fucking stink. But he's going to kill them, Harriet. I thought he loved rats because the guy that we had before him, he turned up with a pellet gun. And so we thought he was the one that, like, <laughs> to get them. But then no, I listen. thought he was humane. Yeah, Rose, if you He's, can just no, do this. this is, okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. Okay, he has a deep respect for rats, okay, <laughs> as creatures. He talked me through it. He said they are incredibly intelligent. He He really respects them, but... It's his job. He says he has to kill them. He says people who build themselves as humane pest controllers, by law, if you catch a rat, you have to kill it. So he says what they do, the humane ones do is they catch them in the humane traps, take them away, and then kill them around the corner. (laughs) (laughs) 
That's really humane, when we yeah. we had um, mice when I lived in Shepherd's Bush, and um, we made our housemate take it on the bus because apparently if you took it over three miles away, then they wouldn't be able to find their way back. So we made him take it on the bus and let it go in a in a park. That's, a, that's, mice, that's what, I think that's what I thought he'd do. Mice, I cannot. What? Just take the rats elsewhere, like the Pied Piper. Let them loose. <laughs> no. I think, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had to kill mice before. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Um, but rats. You but mice, rats. I feel like mice. I feel like you can live in a house where there are mice. Yeah. it's not. You know, you're like, yeah. I want to get rid of the mice, but you're yeah. like, oh, it's just a bit annoying. You see one, sometimes stuff gets nibbled. You cannot live in a house with a rat. You, you can't. No. Why not? So like you said, you're what? They're, they're massive. They're <laughs> loud. They crash around. You they can't eat sleep. Your stuff. They scream. They were right. screaming when we had them in the walls, screaming. I no, I agree. I'm, I'm, luckily, I haven't. You try to live with that. No, if you no, want to live with rats. To be honest, rats. Well, we're, we'll find a rat and we'll no, let it loose in your house and then you'll see. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I'm then we'll asking. see how, what you I was do. just asking a question. Now you're letting a rat loose in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see that it's well, a very emotive subject for both of you because you've lived through. Feels like don't a war. say it like that. Obviously, I'm not, I'm being obviously it is. Obviously, You're it is like a it. war. <laughs> it, it, it's yeah. a rat war. The rat mm. war. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got rid of the rat and that you're in um you're in Devon now. That sounds much nicer. Yeah. Um, I am glad that I could help you through the trauma of. Rats, because so I know much. what it feels like. You just go. I can't imagine a time when there's not rats in this house. That was it, and I just felt disgusting. I just felt like I'm just someone that has rats. I'm just a <laughs> rat girl. Like it was, it was really, it was a hard way. Like to look at yourself, and you were like, "It's not you. <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah, a personality yeah. thing. It's not because of you. Like it can be anyone." It could be anyone, it can be anyone. I don't, yeah. I, I'm not going to get a rat in here. How do you know? Absolutely. First and second floor. I'm, they only, are you only get uh, down for rats. Didn't you hear me earlier? They can climb over rats a DVD, Sunil. Our best <laughs> yeah. controller they told us climb. that rats could, he'd been to a fourth floor flat recently that had rats. <gasps> That's... Now he's sweating. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, well, I, I regret everything I've said so far. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't mind. I I'll deal with it when it comes so up. No, you would mind. You'd hate having what rats. Do you want me to you'd do? hate it. I'm not going to start. <laughs> I'm not... okay, Just admit um... you'd hate it. I'd hate it. Admit it. I'd hate it. What? I'd hate <laughs> having rats. <laughs> would you? You know when you Wait. asked me to do this podcast, I thought, <laughs> how long will it be until she brings up the rats? <laughs> <laughs> She really, really had to, she didn't to talk even, about the rats. She didn't even steer it to rats. She just, but, like, tell us about the rats. And that <laughs> was it. Rose, rats. I, think, I think, I think, I think Sunil was in the middle of a sentence. Yeah. And, and you're you like, 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 like Rose wants to tell us about rats, please. <laughs> the lay. The lay. What? I love the way that's frozen. All right. You look like you're screaming. I wasn't screaming. Never. No, I just it, thank you, Rose. You you've really made me feel so much better. Um, and just to anyone out there that does, it it can happen to anyone, and you shouldn't judge yourself. And no. know there is help available. Why are you looking at that? You're making it sound okay. Yeah, fine. Go on. All I'm saying, is, Sunil, is until you've had something, like what? I understand. I, I, I don't understand, and I, I'll defer to both of you if anyone wants to know. He's, about that. he's saying that we're he's saying that we're taking it too seriously. We sound yeah. like we're doing like one of those program things at the end of a bad program where it says if you've been affected by any of the issues. But genuinely, yeah. it's traumatic. So <laughs> it is. It's genuinely, it's genuinely very traumatic experience. Yeah. Do you guys um want to hear a sad story? I tell yeah. a, a sad story at the end. What? Okay. What? I Another tell... hard turn. <laughs> I, there's a real delay on my end, I think. So whenever Another, there's... Another real handbrake turn in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Harriet, I think you're absolutely <laughs> nailing the being more domineering thing. <laughs> Who likes fun fairs? Anyone like fun fairs? <laughs> what? I didn't say it. <laughs> 
thing about fun fairs. No, I know. But I do, I do. <laughs> Someone, please, can you... Sh oh, no, my phone was on airplane mode and I just turned it on to read your sad story and Elliot messaged me a while ago saying, half an hour ago saying, please, can you shift your phone away from the mic? Yeah, I... I it's all fine, no worries. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. This is a sad story. See, we're trying to make Sunil feel something. So maybe this sad story will make Sunil feel something. Um, Sunil, are you listening? What are you doing? Just checking my phone. Are you ready? Yeah. The world's tallest dog has died. Fuck's sake, come on. <laughs> it's true, it has. Come on. A heartbroken British family paid tribute to a seven foot five inch giant. What? First... Okay, Rose, initially when we started this podcast, she would find sad stories by just Googling sad stories, but now she just Googles animal stories. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, they find me genuinely every time they, I, they just appear. Freddy, who was the runt of the litter, that means there's more of them, probably taller, stood at seven foot five inches. What kind wait, of wait, 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 wait. Back up. Back <laughs> the fuck up. Stood, we're talking on its when it's on its hind legs and it's got its other legs up like that because no dog is oh, seven. Yeah. Foot. No, no, no dog so is standing on four feet at seven foot five inches. No, hurry it no. on his she back legs. You didn't let me finish the sentence on his back legs. So, what I mean is, then it's not 7.5 foot because when's a dog standing on its back legs? Yeah, that's just the <laughs> length of a dog, that's not the height of a dog. Sometimes they, they go to look over a fence or something. And imagine if you were walking past a fence <laughs> and that was looking at you. World's longest dog dies. Terrible. Tallest. Yeah, it should be, yeah, but it's no, not, it should it's, be world's longest. Yeah, no. The length. No, because, yeah, but they don't say that about humans. Well, they don't right. measure humans height don't by crawl. their fingertips to their toes, do they? <laughs> we stand, when we stand, we're, 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 we're on our feet, two feet. When it dog doesn't stands, mention arms. It says on his back legs, but I think arms. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just call the things in the front? Legs. Front legs, front legs. Front legs. He ate 500 pounds of food per month. What, like in weight or money? Money. The, the, uh, that's the still fewer, completely meaningless to me. I don't, the, the I don't know how much questions we have, Rose, five, we get through the... How um, much is your order of pepperamis? This is 500 pounds just for a dog a month. How, that's, like, that's a lot of pepperamis. Yeah. He was eight years old. That's actually quite young. young. That is quite young. They yeah. say that tall people live... Uh, shorter, shorter lives. lives. Yeah. Is that so true? Dogs, clearly. Yeah, yeah, and obviously, yeah. exponentially with dog years, that's going to really take the years off, Terrible, isn't it? Isn't it? If you're a tall that's, dog. That's a very good point. Um, if there's any tall dogs listening, maybe turn off now. <laughs> Trigger warning. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry. Any rat he... lovers or tall dogs? <laughs> this one's not for you. He genuinely. If you're on the Patreon, look at the video. He's very big. That is that's a fucking that dog. Is that's a a very that dog. His head is three look times. Look at that man. <laughs> He's terrified. afraid. That is a that very... man is afraid. But when you said tall, I just thought of like a long, thin dog. But that's a fucking huge dog. Yeah. World's biggest dog. I'd take that's better than world's tallest. Biggest, maybe. Okay, I'm looking at world's biggest dog now. Freddie, Fred, this is Freddie the dog. He won the Guinness Book of Records in 2016. He won the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> <laughs> he won it as a prize. Yeah, fair enough. What for? <laughs> Being tall. Craig Clement, he said, you, it was always mean? a pleasure to see him bounding towards you. Was it? I would disagree about that. <laughs> I would say that, yeah. I will treasure the couple of occasions I got to share a sofa with him. Who's this? It's, who's this guy? Oh, that's the guy from the Guinness Book of Records. I can barely believe he was the runt of the litter. Yeah, R.I.P. Freddy. The right. tallest dog ever recorded by the Guinness World yeah, but... Records. <laughs> was... But he was the runt of the litter, so surely by default yeah. he's not the tallest dog. Maybe he was no, the smallest, brothers must but be bigger. got bigger Great. than them over time. Outgrew them because of the, the £500 pounds worth of meat he was eating every month. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did that? So, Sunil, what did that story make you feel? Yeah. It made me Google world's biggest animals, and uh, that's I. That's not found... feeling. <laughs> You need some basic that's, CBT. That's, that's the behavior. most Sunil's ever felt in his life. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me find That's this. a behaviour. <laughs> okay, here we are. Um, the world's biggest rat. No! no! The world's Why? largest rats are the size of small dogs. No! <gasps> yeah. Why? They scuttle in swarms around our cities under cover of darkness. <laughs> Who's written this? This doesn't sound like a factual article. <laughs> this, this is. This... Sounds like some weird rap fan fiction. Doesn't feel like uh, unbiased reporting at all. <laughs> no, scuttle is a descriptive word, definitely. Uh, in truth, cities are not the best place to look for the world's biggest rats. Actually, um, this is this is in the BBC. So we're fine. Ours won't. Well, well mine was D described as a big daddy rat, but <laughs> Dougie Clark is the leading expert on super rats. Um, <laughs> He's, he's talking about, okay, that's fine. 10 inches. Did you see that rat one. that um, in New York that got stuck in a drain because yeah. it was too fat? Oh, no, <laughs> I can't look at them. <laughs> no, but this one's cute. Wait, I'll find it. <laughs> you, you... Rat stuck. Sumatran bamboo rat, 20 inches. It had to get, it had to get rescued inches. by fire um, firemen. They rescued a rat? Well, what else are they going to do? Well, the drain's going to be blocked. Yeah, all right, good point. There he is. There oh. he is, the big lad. <laughs> Trigger warning if you don't like to see trap rats. But, like, if you... Do you like capybara, capybaras? What's that? Rat-like beings. What? Mm, those big ones. The big ones, you can roast them. Mm, no, thank you. Is that Australian? Um, South American. South American, yeah. Mm. Well, um, I think we've all learnt and felt something. No. Um, 2.5 Harriet, yeah. when yes. was the last time you cried, Harriet? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. Actually, it was this, this morning when Bobby showed me a video of a lost dog. Um, <laughs> and then... <laughs> Why didn't you do that one for us? <laughs> Instead of world's biggest, big tallest dog. dog. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. The dog was lost, and then the dog got found again, and it was so happy. It was lovely. Oh, I've seen yeah, a lot nice. of those. I've seen a lot of those, like, dog reunited with their owner. And what do you feel when you look at it? I think that's really nice. Yeah. Okay. I think CBT's a great idea, Rose. Have you ever looked into CBT, Sunil? Well, oil, that oil. You, you I, I don't think that he needs it, though, because he... I, CBT is, like, to make you have fewer emotions. He needs reverse CBT. Rever reverse CBT, someone to yeah. give you some emotions? Yeah. Because it seems like you've got quite a lack of empathy. What, with what? The dog? With the no, no, dog? like, it, like it just, just that's that seems to be it. No. Yeah. I've loads. I've actually too like much empathy, which is why I don't express myself that much because I'm uh, a deep ocean with very few waves. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. My husband's like he's very stoic and like some would say repressed, but very <laughs> yeah. I've met your husband. He no, seems like a great guy. Doesn't cry. He's a great guy, but doesn't cry, and I cry all the time. Doesn't cry or mustn't cry. Well, that's it. Mm. But on our wedding day, he could barely say our wedding vows because he was feeling tearful. You got him. That's nice to I know, isn't it? I got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And I well, was fine. Said him no problem. How would you feel if he just started crying every day just for no reason? Mm. It's like that Friends episode where Bruce Willis, where Rachel and Rachel's going out with Bruce Willis, and then she, and then he doesn't cry, and then she, she wants him to cry, and then he's crying all the time, and she's like, yeah. "Oh, I wish I never opened the floodgates." Yeah, yeah. I hate it because it, because I cry all the time. I need someone to not to be like normal and be like, "It's fine, don't worry." Yeah. Do you cry about big things or little things? <laughs> Everything. Yes. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That doesn't make any sense whatsoever because like Why? you're the opposite of Harriet in That's, terms of like I wouldn't have thought you were a crier. Yeah. I think because mm, I guess because like planning catastrophizing they can go hand in hand like I'm I'm anxious that's how I'm to seem together is because I've in like I'm a high functioning anxiety so it's like must control everything must make sure nothing goes wrong but then things obviously do go wrong cry catastrophe right. you can't handle it yeah because it's not in the plan yeah I think you cry. should take a leaf at your dad's book <laughs> and uh, blame other people pretend it didn't happen I can't, yeah yeah just not in my wheelhouse I'm afraid <laughs> not in my wheelhouse my, I had and a really important. Better. I had a really important Zoom um, audition the other day and um, didn't get it in the end. But um, I was waiting, f- uh, but and the Wi-Fi went down like ten minutes before, and yeah. I lost God. my mind. And I, I was like, how does a normal person not just go hysterical? I was like hysterical, just running around yeah. the house, being like, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I, I'd lie on the ground. There's nothing you can do. I was... I, okay, I, so you'd lie on the ground. I was running around trying to do stuff. <laughs> you'd lie on the ground. <laughs> That's what I did doing my taxes, but it got too much. That's it, yeah. on the ground. That's the difference. You're, you're, you're yeah. like, paralysed into inactivity, whereas I'm, par- yeah. I'm like, spurred into hyperactivity. I, that, the exact same thing happened to me this week when, like, uh, it cut out... And just before it to make it worse, I was boasting to the other people that I have a hardwired internet connection with an <laughs> Ethernet cable. And then it just cut out. And I was like, well, now what? <laughs> and so I connected it to my phone and it just kept connecting, connecting, connecting. And then Tethered. I just, I, yeah, I, re- I did. Personal I just, hotspot. <laughs> doesn't work. Hotspot doesn't work. Personal I didn't hotspot update my phone. is the biggest conspiracy of our generation. Absolutely nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work with Zoom, certainly not at the at the right, it's you know, just, um, no, video no, quality. Yeah, yeah. And then went downstairs, I reset the router, came back upstairs, texting them, going, "Sorry." But okay, it was, but how it, did you feel? Feeling. Yeah, how I, did I felt, you feel? I felt uh, flustered, worried that I was missing stuff and letting other people down. When otherwise they'd have to make catch me up on stuff that went on while I wasn't there. And but annoyed. you didn't. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, I was just, just just annoyed that best laid plans had gone out the window, and I, that, I there's nothing I can okay, do. Okay, and on a scale of one to ten, how strong were those emotions? If you imagine ten is like the no, but I'm really interested. Oh right, you, okay, yeah. yeah. Imagine is ten is like the strongest type of like annoyance and worry that you can get where you're literally like hysterical with it. How 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 much on that scale? Uh, as high as I've felt. And how oh. high is that? How high yeah, is like, that, though? That was probably a 10 for me, I guess. No, but, but not for 10... you, for everybody. Oh, for everyone. Well, no, well, no, no, no. I think he's, no, I think he's right, but his 10 is different from my 10. My 10 his is, 10 like, is my one. crying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. His 10 is your is our one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my 10 is trying out the other options and trying to fix it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, and okay, then yeah. And then 10 <laughs> is doing that while also crying and screaming, what the hell am I going to do? And right. having, like, pressure in your chest and... Yeah, I definitely know? felt, like, spinning... Um, spinning not spinning just like uh, I know like what you mean disoriented yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I lost track of time definitely I didn't yeah, know how, I yeah, felt yeah. like I was Snail. working out for ages but then I got back and everyone was like oh were you gone and I was like I just had the worst <laughs> seven minutes of my fucking life <laughs> now Sunil imagine feeling those emotions but for time. a lot of the time that's yeah. what how? having it actually that's quite a good way to experience time going much slower hmm is that good? Yeah, but I would say that a lot. That's why anxiety is very exhausting because you oh, feel like that I a see. lot of the time, yeah. and it's unrelenting. That's a very good you can't point, switch actually, it yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. must be exhausting. I don't like being exhausted, so I don't like anxiety. No. But that's a that's an eye opener, definitely. That's yeah. Thanks for that, Rose. That's okay. That was very Did insightful. Bring the comedy. <laughs> no, it was very good. I really enjoyed that. I, it was insightful. Do you think it can be, because I think mine has definitely got better and I think it can be like overcome. And it did actually really help the other day when Bobby, it did at the time I got really cross, but Bobby said I've got to stop acting like a child. And even though yeah. it made me really cross, I was actually like, she got a point there. 
Dan uh-huh. says stuff like that to me. Just or the thing that Dan says, he'll just go, "I can't keep doing this." <laughs> yeah, that was. Bobby and said, "You've got scary. to stop saying you're over." Yeah, Bobby said, like, "You've got to stop saying you're overwhelmed. It doesn't mean anything. Saying you're overwhelmed <laughs> over and over again is not. It's no point. It doesn't. You've got to stop. You're not I overwhelmed." Think- I think that what's what's really interesting about like watching Harriet for years trying to or just having this as part of a personality that she doesn't really like. I don't know whether she doesn't like it, but like something she wants to be better at. And to me, not much has changed. <laughs> like not a lot, like despite all the books, all the talking about it, all the like <laughs> recognition of what she's doing. Thanks. Very, very little yeah. has changed. Yeah. Yeah, but her well, attitude ditto. to it, her attitude to it might have done, and that's the most important thing. Right, that's the thing. Really, I, I you can't not... really change your instinctual, like emotional and behavioural no. reactions to things, but you can change your attitude towards them, and you can say, yeah, you can distance yeah. yourself from I it think... by recognising it, and more going, quickly you can yeah, go, you can it's go, fine, this is get not, back to... yeah, yeah, you go, this I... is not inherently bound up with me. This is a separate problem yeah, that i yeah, can yeah. like pop this out is a you thing objective yeah and it's basically sunil's fault that's yeah, the whole yeah that's essentially yeah it. this is not about I me this is about you at, at yeah the that's heart of it neither of us want to change and we will not change because the other person <laughs> wants us to and i think that's what's so great about this podcast yeah i mean you're bit you're, i mean i think you're absolutely nailing the domineeringness guys you're you I will think not change body language shows it's all <laughs> Yeah. Um, right. Thank you so much for coming on, um, and thank, thank you, you yeah. so much for helping me with um, with the rat invasion. I, I don't think I could have got through it without you. Anytime, I'm here. Yeah. Thank you, Rat Woman. I, I really enjoyed this. This is this. <laughs> <laughs> we really needed someone to sort of take charge of this podcast. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Because... <laughs> but actually, Harriet did. Yeah. I did, but it was because she I did. couldn't hear anything she and did. I was pretending I could hear, but then it would go quiet and so then I'd say something, but well, it was the, because... The illusion is shattered now. I missed didn't the conversation. <laughs> um, um, we've gone past Rose, do you have um, Rose, anything okay. to promote? Anyth- sorry, um, I didn't hear that. That's, yes, <laughs> when, does this, when, does this, when does this go out? I think it's going to go out to Patreon members on Tuesday and to people that are not subscribed to Patreon on Thursday. Yes, no, then I do yeah. have something to promote. I have a podcast called <gasps> Birthday Girls House Party that yes. I do with my stupid friends, BKT <laughs> and Camille. We're a sketch group. And it's a really fun, stupid podcast that takes your mind off, I mean, everything that's awful at the moment. It's just stupid. We talk about, I mean, mostly it's just talking about farts and things like that. <laughs> but that's I was just about to Lots ask, like how it. Do you, I was about to ask, like, how do you not talk about what's happening? And like, oh yeah, farts. Brilliant. But, and okay, so we're doing a live, uh, live streamed recording of it for Leicester right. Comedy Festival on the fifteenth of February. Uh, so Monday, you, know, you can watch it from yeah Monday the fifteenth of February. We're we're um, oh, is this coming out before then? No, Wait, what? Not, yeah, it is. No, I just knew it was I just knew it was Monday. That I was just I was just trying yeah. to be helpful, but I was also just impressed that it was a Monday. Sorry. It's really good. No, it's on, it's on Monday the 15th of Feb at seven o'clock and you can go, you can get tickets, just watch it from your living room. It's five pounds or free for NHS. Oh. And it'll be a load of fun. Uh-huh. It'll be stupid. We'll play, we play games. It's a theme. This one is festival themed. It's a festival themed party. So there'll be lots of confessions of when Camille shat herself at Glastonbury, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she won't mind. Um, I really recommend that. Right. The birthday girl, you guys are so funny. I've seen you guys um, in Edinburgh yeah. and at gigs and stuff, and I it will be a very fun time in a very bleak time. That's yeah, what I it recommend. Will be fun. Do so go yeah, buy yourself a ticket. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, I've had a Rose. lot of fun. And Thanks so much, I just Rose. just hijacked into a therapy session. Not at all. It was great. And no, enjoy it's your, what we needed. Enjoy your 6 p.m. Drink. beer. Yeah, I know. Delighted. <laughs>